Now, Fraser, there is a mission that is of great interest to me, as they all are, I guess. But this, there's one that I don't think gets enough press, and it's the Parker Solar Probe. Mm -hmm. Well, I, it's it's hard to keep track of the Parker Solar Probe. I mean, it was launched several years ago, and its job is to study the sun closer than any other spacecraft would. And it has been performing a series of gravitational slingshot maneuvers using Venus and Mercury to get closer and closer to the sun. And every six months or so, we get another press release from NASA saying that that Parker Solar Probe has made its closest flyby to the sun. And now it's, you know, it's vastly closer than any spacecraft has ever been and is still going to be getting closer. And the sort of the design of the Parker Solar Probe is really ingenious because at its closest point, it is so hot that it's starting to cause damage to the spacecraft. And so they have it on this elliptical orbit where it flies out from the sun, cools down, gets its affairs in order, you know, and then comes back in, gets blisteringly close to the sun, and then flies back out. Uh, let me just check to see what the latest Parker Solar Probe distance was, because it's it's kind of stunning. Um, get the actual specific. Um, so the last big one we had was in August, and they came within... Uh, oh, though they did a flyby of Venus in August. And the closest approach, the perihelion, they came within 7.3 million kilometers. And it was moving four, almost 400,000 miles per hour, which is the fastest any fly spacecraft has ever moved. Any human... Yeah, any spacecraft that humanity has ever made. I would not want to be that close to the sun. The sun is scary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a yeah, star. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, so the last one. Okay. So in it did its sixteenth close approach on June twenty seventh, and came within. Yeah. Okay. Five point three million miles, and it's just going to keep getting closer and closer. I'm trying to get the the actual from NASA there their final.